In seven days, you can create the momentum for laying the foundation for creating your dream life. And I believe in a few months from now, you may look back and see that this was the video that changed it all for you because you simply applied what I'm gonna share with you, you created the momentum, and then that put you on literally a new timeline. Now, when it comes to creating your dream life, the concepts I share in this video are gonna change the whole perspective that you might have about it, help you understand why. The key is also embodying the magnetic energy and the energy of the reality you quote unquote want right now, how doing that for seven days creates more momentum than you could possibly imagine and how that will completely change the outer reflection that you're getting in your life. Now, first off, let's look at what reality is in the sense of what we experience in it. And you may have heard it many times and all this teaching is under the same mantra of you don't necessarily get in life that which you want because what you want you lack. When you say I want love, it means that I'm not currently in a loving relationship because I want it. I want uh, to be living my purpose means I'm not living my purpose and wanting implies lack. And also a lot of times what happens is people are trying to manifest their dream reality by thinking about it. They're thinking better thoughts. They're visualizing it. For a long time I was thinking about what I wanted, I was visualizing it, but nothing was ever actually happening because I didn't actually apply the part of the principle that is the missing key. Now that is that you don't get in life that which you want, but you always, you always get a direct reflection in your life of who you are being, who you are being. So if you want to become what I wanted to become a YouTuber back in 2017, I was thinking about it, I was visualizing it, but once I started to be it, once I started to be it, that's when my reality changed. And at every moment, you can make a new choice about who you are that can put you on a new trajectory. But you have to make the choice from the being space. There's something that's the, the energy of being is different than the energy of wanting, or even the energy of doing, or even the energy of thinking. So the being energy changes everything. Now, here's a simple process for understanding exactly what to do for the next seven days to create this incredible momentum. So first off, think of it like this. You have these different versions of you. Because remember, you get in life a reflection of who you're being. There's a version of you that most people live in, and that is they live within their past self. They're living through the past filters through which they saw the world. A lot of times we may have had certain things that happened in childhood, and then we decided, this is who I am, this is my reality. It could have been like, I know for myself, my parents divorced when I was five years old. As the, the past version of me when I was five may have decided and said, oh, they're breaking up because I wasn't good enough. As kids, we tend to internalize everything. And experiencing certain things in childhood, I could then see how I internalized a lot of things that happened. That became meaning that then is on autopilot. So years later, I'm feeling like, oh, there's something wrong with me. I'm not good enough. And it came from that past self, that past meaning. Now we are thinking, we are feeling, we are acting in complete alignment. We're acting in complete alignment with the past version of ourselves of how we view ourselves. We all also have an inner self image. The inner self image is something we will always remain consistent to acting within. So if we see ourselves as you know, a nine to five job goer, and we start trying to own our own business or trying to make our side hustle our full-time thing, we'll be like, oh, sabotage. This isn't who I am. I am a nine to five job goer. A lot of this stuff is subconscious beliefs, subconscious meaning, subconscious stories. So we are thinking, feeling, and acting in complete alignment with who we've decided we were in the past. Now, the thing is, is a lot of this has been subconsciously programmed in. And that's what, remember, your beliefs create your reality. Your beliefs literally open up the doorways to different realities you experience. But see, people, when they are stuck, what they're really stuck with is they're stuck in old beliefs. They are being stubborn with what they believe to be true because this feels very familiar. For, for me, this is a long time, like this box right here is the identity, it's the box we live in because it feels safe and familiar, even though it may not be our dream reality. So what happens is we may also have certain emotions. We may have anger, guilt, shame, fear, these different emotions that are rooted in our childhood trauma, our childhood energy. That's why one of the most powerful things to do is actually go back to your childhood energetically into meditation to begin to release and to feel what came up and to release it because then it leaves from the body. 
Now, the nine to five job going with me, the ADHD version of me, these were all autopilot meanings, autopilot stories that were on autopilot. I was also a lot of shame that was built because I believed I wasn't worthy. I wasn't worthy of love. I felt emotionally abandoned as a kid. So I had all these like beliefs that were in place that were reflecting that reality back to me. Now, creating your dream life is about becoming aware of this version of you through meditation, through different practices, becoming aware of this version of you. Back in 2012, I became aware of the ADHD, that I believed I had ADHD. I was taking Adderall for it, the prescription drug that had very harsh side effects. And then I became aware of this and I started to reframe it. I started to redefine myself and to realize that I just have a lot of energy. I started meditating, completely changed my identity, the way I saw myself. Became aware as well that I view myself as having a nine to five job. I'm a nine to five job goer. That was an autopilot identity that I had. Now, what you want to do is you want to become aware. There's two ways to bridge into this new way of being. Two major ways that I've found. The first way is meditation. Now, meditation is a way and literally means to become familiar with. When you become familiar with the old version of you, you can then see that this is an autopilot thing. This is something that you've agreed to in the past that you no longer have to agree to. You may think thoughts but you are not your thoughts. You may have beliefs, but you're not your beliefs. When you're completely in the reactive mind, you think this is who you are. Now, meditation also allows you to not only become familiar with this new version of you and this old version of you, but meditation allows you to pierce your subconscious mind. When you are in a theta state, that is a state of brainwave activity where you can influence your subconscious mind. That's the programmable state. Now, when you are sleeping and you wake up in the morning for the first 20 minutes of your day, you're in theta. For the last 20 minutes a day before you doze off, you're in theta. When you do meditations, you're in theta. So one of the most powerful things to do is meditation because you are disconnect, you actually allow yourself to influence your subconscious mind. And what I would recommend is you view yourself and you feel as if this new version of you is who you are. By realizing this old version of you is just something you decided to, feel as if you are already this version of you. What would your behaviors be? How would you show up in the world? As you do that, when you're falling asleep at night, waking up in the morning and you do a meditation every single day on this, you're going to begin to change your energy you're putting out. Now realize you experience a reality that is in complete alignment with your energy. The probabilities and the synchronicities in your life are direct reflections of the energy you're embodying. Now a lot, a lot of people do is they're waiting to feel this way until they have the external thing that they want. I say, I will feel amazing love in my heart. I will feel like I'm living my life purpose and I'll feel like um, that love once I'm doing this. The way reality works though is it's like a radio dial. You experience in reality a direct reflection of the energy you are embodying and if you want to experience what's on Kick-Ass FM, you have to tune to Kick-Ass FM. You can't be stuck on 97.2 old oldies and then perceive of this other reality. Now here's the thing, you do not have to create this reality. It already exists. All you gotta do is energetically tune to it using your imagination and using meditation and this other thing I'm gonna mention. So this version of you already exists. Now another important part of this is connecting to your heart field. The energetic and magnetic energy of your heart is thousands of times more powerful than that of the head. Now what you wanna do is you wanna tap into that you want to feel it by knowing you can feel any emotion you want right now by, feel, by, by putting the awareness inside of your body. That's why I have something called the magnetic frame technique as well. It's about becoming aware of this magnetic energy within you. Now, what you want to do though is you want to identify, you want to focus on the values, the identity of this version of you that you use using your imagination and meditation. You look at the behaviors of that version of you, the habits of that version of you. And what you want to do is you want to feel gratitude that this is who you are now. The energy and magnetic energy of gratitude is that this reality, gratitude sends the, a, a signal to the universe that says more of this. It says, I'm grateful for this in my life. And if you can become grateful for you becoming this version of you now in the present moment, you are then embodying this frequency. You will then perceive of the probabilities and synchronies that are in alignment with that gratitude inside of yourself. So this is an identity transformation process. Now for seven days, this is part of it. Meditate for seven days and then also take choice and action. This is the other side of the coin. A lot of times people were, they're thinking about it, they're visualizing it energetically, but they're not embodying it with the action energy. Now embodiment, 
When it comes to choice, it means making choices, taking action as this new version of you. When I identified the full-time YouTuber version of me that was making daily videos, I made the choice to be it. I was meditating, feeling as if it was in me now. But then what I was doing is I was making, I was taking action as that version of me, making videos every single day. And guess what began to happen? What began to happen was my energy and the momentum in my life began to shift. I was being a full-time YouTube version of me. I was embodying the thoughts, the feelings, the actions of this version of me, and even the values. Values are like beliefs that we consider to be important with how we see the world. Back this old version of me, I valued approval, validation seeking. I uh, valued the safety of a nine to five job. I valued these things. Once I became aware of that, I then began to identify this new version of me and I took on the values of this version of me. Now, another important part of this process is you taking action as this version of you. You're not taking action to get out of a, of a reality. You're taking action because it's who you are. It's present moment energy. Magnetic energy is present. So when it comes to what to do for the next seven days, it's actually really simple. There's two things you wanna do. You wanna meditate every single day, feeling the energy as if this is the version of you. Do it in a meditation every day. I have meditations that will also assist you in doing this to help you to identify and to feel the energy as if this is you right now. And also, if you want that, of uh, the, the other side of this coin is take action as this version of you with the intention of being it. So if you are a, um, an artist, it's not like once you, once you, are an artist for, you know, and have your own art gallery studio, then you could finally be an artist. The way reality works is you must first be it, then you will see it. You must first embody it in order to see it, in order to experience the outer reflection. So paint every day knowing you are an artist. I started making videos every day. I wasn't like, once I have 100,000 YouTubers, uh, then I'm a YouTuber. No, I was a YouTuber the moment I started. I took on the identity and I was being it because it's who I prefer to be, not because of what it'll get me. So for seven days straight, meditate, feel as if this is who you are now, feel the gratitude that this is who you are now. I have a feeling is the secret meditation you can listen to at night to help wire this in. It's the most powerful time to wire in this energy. And then what you wanna do is begin, you're gonna to begin to tune to this version of you. You're gonna to begin to get new synchronicities, probabilities in your life, but you need to also take action as this new version of you. How does that version of you think, feel, act? What is that version of you's purpose? Choose to be it now, and you will then begin to see that your reality changes in a very powerful way. Now, if you want, by the way, to learn more how to create this magnetic energy from the inside out and how to stay to it permanently without falling back into the old patterns, then you can check out www.magneticmastery.com, which is a step-by-step -step process that shows you how to create permanent identity magnetic energy shifts and how to become it without falling back into the old pattern. And all you gotta do to check that out is go to www.magneticmastery.com. That's also where I do coaching every single month. And I bring people up, do group coaching, we go through processes together, live meditations together to create this magnetic energy so you can attract your dream life quicker than ever. Now, one of the most powerful videos to watch after this video is the three things you must give up in order to have irresistible magnetic energy. It's one of my most powerful videos to really wire all of this in. Check it out right here. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the three things you must let go of in order to have energy that is so magnetic that you attract things to you. Now, before we do that though, I just wanna specify, think about a magnet. A magnet can do something like magnetize, but it can also, if you flip the polarity, it can repel.